Well, it is day one here in South Florida. It's 7 a.m. I'm certainly not new to this beach right here. We're gonna be here in South Florida for almost a week at this point. I'm gonna be surf fishing pretty much as many days as I possibly can while I'm here. I'm on a quote unquote vacation, but I wouldn't really call it much of a vacation to be completely honest with you because it's less relaxing, more just kind of down here to do some shit. My main goal is to catch some fish while I'm here for the next six days. I really don't know what's in the surf or anything. I believe there's Jack Crevals as well as maybe some snook and stuff, but other than that, I really have no idea because I think anything is fair game right now. I've got two rigs with me right now. I'm going to be throwing out a fish finder rig on my bait caster bass rod. Uh, to try and catch some bait first and then hopefully I'll use that live bait to try and catch some bigger stuff And that's basically always been my beach plan. So yeah uh, We're gonna go and rig up some fish bites here and get in the water see what's uh, what's out there this morning This right here is my rig of choice. We got a fish bites on a size I believe it's a size 10 Size 10 hook Just like a typical straight J bait hook. I've got this on a bait caster real heavy shit fishing 50 pound line 50 pound braid on my bass bait caster so yeah that's 50 pound braid attached to a 40 pound leader the only reason why i'm going 40 pound leaders because i literally don't have any other leader i mean i did i just didn't really bring it on the trip right now i'm really just looking for bait fish as small of fish as i possibly can because then i'm just gonna live line some stuff later that's really my goal. High tide today was at 4 a.m. You got me twisted if you think I'm gonna be out here at 4 a.m. I was literally out here at 12 a.m. as a matter of fact. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect, to be completely honest with you. I'm just not really sure what to expect down here. Let's try a different flavor here. Not sure what, but something different. Should probably turn my music off. So we've got whatever this is. Whatever this is, and then we got Easy Flea Sand Flea. I don't know why it's not telling me the f***ing flavor of these things, but they both look the same. If I had to guess, it might be Worm, which is, or something, I don't know, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. Well, I'm out of here for the morning. You can see in the distance, you can see behind me. I can't let it rain, because I got expensive camera equipment. Shit. I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up. I didn't even realize that I'm fucking hooked up onto something. What the hell? I'm hooked up. I turn my camera on and oh my god, what is that? Is that a snook? It's, oh my god, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that? It just jumped. What the hell is that? Oh my god. It just jumped out of the freaking air. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. It, it's... Oh fuck! Just fucking snapped off. Fuck. Uh, you see it jump? I think it was a kingfish. Or like a bear. No, I don't think it's No, he jumped like a good three foot out of the water. I seriously have no idea what the hell that was, but that thing was giving me a, a good pull. It jumped out of the water like two, three times. That was crazy. I really, I got no idea what that was, and I'm kind of hoping I got some of that on camera of like the fish jumping. Like, I'll have to zoom in or some shit. I really don't know. But what I do know is it had teeth. That I do know. You can see the line right here. It's all frayed up. So the teeth must have gotten to it. I'm fishing 50 pound mono, which is, he which is real heavy shit, but... Even then, it got through. There is no greater pain in this world as a fisherman than losing a fish that you know you for a fact you have not caught before. And on top of that, a big giant one too. The thing is, I had a shit ton of seaweed on my line. So I was kind of just like picking the seaweed off. And then I was like, all right, let me just reel this thing in. So I reeled it in. And then as soon as I like got to like where the, the 
as soon as I got to where the weight was, it was just, it took off on me. Because it must have felt that I was reeling it in. I think it was just kind of sitting there, swimming around with it. And then as soon as it realized that I was there, it took off. It wasn't a tarpon, because I'm pretty sure, unless it was the gills, maybe it was a tarpon and the gills got it. That could be another thing, because I actually, man, maybe, it, oh. Now that I think about it, that might have been a tarpon. Because the gills, I think, someone's going to have to correct me on this. I think the gills of tarpons are real, real sharp. And a lot of people say, watch out for the gills when you're fishing for tarpon. Someone has to let me know if that's true or not. But that's another possibility. It was a tarpon. I don't think it was a barracuda. I don't think barracuda really jumped like that. And if it was a fucking barracuda, that was like a world record barracuda. It might have been a tarpon because I don't know if that thing was jumping like crazy. I have a hundred, but you don't want a hundred. I have a hundred, didn't I? I said, what did you call that? Fifty. I, I, it might have, you know. Well, it might have like hit one of those rocks out there. No, no. I think it might have been a tarpon. I, I don't want to do a hundred because then that's too heavy to catch other shit. And I'm not just specifically targeting tarpon. Not really. It's just more of a nuisance. I'll have to look at the footage maybe. I keep saying kingfish. To be honest, I, I, I don't even really know what the fuck a kingfish is, but I know a kingfish kind of looks like a big ass barracuda, but I'm pretty sure kingfish are deep in the water column, so I'm not really thinking kingfish anymore. I'm thinking tarpon that just so happened to snap me off with its gill plates while it was jumping. Oh my God, what the hell? I had another one. What the hell is going on? They're, it's like they're just holding on to it. What the, that was a tiny one, but what the hell was that? <sighs> Put that back out there. What is going on? Uh, well, as you can see in the distance, this shit is coming fast too. Uh, it's looking like this storm is about to hit us and if that's the case I got to put this camera equipment away because this I mean if I spit on this thing It'll literally break so I can't get any water on this So I think I'm gonna have to head head back in here. The thing is it's my first day here I still have plenty of more days like that's a thing. I still have plenty more days, but I just don't know. I, I feel like I Just feel like I'm I keep thinking tarpon aren't as common as they might be so I'm just a little bit worried that I might not be able to hook onto a fish like that for the rest of the week, but yeah, we still have plenty of more days ahead of us if it starts raining here, which it looks like it's going to. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this, that sucked, man. That really sucked. I'm risking it. The winds are picking up and shit. Damn. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not this Caucasian. So, I've got a wind mic on this thing, so... I don't know how effective this wind mic is, but if it, if you guys can hear me, that's pretty fucking impressive. It got insanely windy all of a sudden. You guys aren't gonna be able to see. Holy crap. But this right here is what could have saved the day. This is a hundred pound, what is this, fluorocarbon or mono liter, whatever it is. This right here could have saved the day from catching a tarpon. The thing is, I don't really like using a hundred pound mono because then it might have been able to save my day here with the tarpon, but at the same time, other fish aren't gonna bite. If I have a 100 pound monofilament, jack probably aren't gonna eat, snook probably aren't gonna eat, and that's like the other species. So I kinda wanna stick to multi-species. Tarpon are sick, don't get me wrong, but I still don't even know if it was a tarpon, so I have to check back at the footage. This right here definitely could have saved the day. Maybe tomorrow, I might throw some of this 100 pound if I see more tarpon in the surf. Um, but that was crazy, man. This storm's kicking in. Hopefully it doesn't make the water too aggressive. Hopefully it doesn't make the water too aggressive tomorrow because I want to get back out there. But now I'm actually going to go inside and take a look at that footage to see just what exactly was going on there. It is day four right now. As you can see, I got burnt up real bad. I guess some real bad sun poisoning, I'm not going to lie. I literally could not fish yesterday because it was so bad. It's gotten even worse to be completely honest with you, but I'm going to go out fishing in the evening today as well as for the next two days that I'm here after today. 
because I'm really only here for two more days. We'll be fishing in the evening. I can't fish during the day. Like it's the middle of there right now and I'm, I, I can't fish. I literally cannot go outside because I got sun poisoning so bad. I don't know what it is about me, but I just get burnt. It doesn't matter how much sunscreen I put on, I just get burnt, so. It sucks, but I still haven't given up yet on catching either a tarpon or a snooker. Just at this point, anything. I'm just totally okay with catching anything. So I'll see you guys on the surf at about 7 p.m. when the sun should be pretty much out of the way and not bothering me. You know, it's been quite a while since I've thrown a cash net, so I'm hoping that I remember how. So I think I do. I'm in the freaking water, so it's so hard to cast. Oh, shit. <laughs> 